Hello, my name is Pixelated Twix and welcome back to my channel. Yes, you guys, your eyes have not deceived you. This is Kinseed and yes, I have started over. Okay, two things, two things. One, I started over because I had no choice. Um, I did not back up my game save and lost my save. Um, when I had to completely reset my gaming rig. So here we are at the beginning and that's fine. You know what? I'm glad to, why? Well, because there has been a major update to the game. Relationships have been finally added in full, I think full blown into the game. And there have been some updates to skins and things like that. So we can start to customize a character to look a little more like us or like you or whatever. So I'm really excited about getting back in. So without further ado, let's get into the game. So who who am I? Well, I am Pixie, aka Pixelated Twix, aka Luna Shea, whoever, um, however you want to call me. I am she, she is me. So we're going to go ahead and get into this. Um, I'm going to play as the girl. Her name is Robin. The name of the male tune in this story is. Um, I can't really think of his name right now, but he is Robin's twin. Um, so let's just look at the skin tones really quick. Okay, so we've got a really pale tone and then we've got like a gray, kind of like it. Okay, so we've got like a, um, a tan, caramel, like a darker tone, even darker, like a mahogany. Look at that. Um, to even darker, darker. Then we've got this color. So I'm liking the color choices so far. Not bad, not bad at all. Um, this is a pixelated game. So, you know, I'm not like going to be super picky about skin tones and things like that, but I'm loving what they have so far. So I would probably be around here or around, you well, know, more or less around here. So we'll go ahead and and do that. Now hair, hair is just by color. So we have some browns, grays, blacks. There's even a blue in there, a purple, green, a, like a mauve color, um, of course, red. Um, we're gonna go with brown because my hair is naturally brown. So I'm assuming that one of these days we'll get like hairstyles and maybe some eye colors. So that'll be cool. And hopefully we'll be able to customize our clothing. So I don't know, that's just my thoughts, um, but I'm really liking what you guys have so far. All right, so let us begin, shall we? All right, there was an old woman who lived in a shoe. She had so many kids. She didn't know what to do. Okay, I think I might be going too fast for the screen, but that's okay. Then one day, a man without wife or child came to the house with manner so mild. I really love the the blue hue of this. And then like that bright red that pops out. The man looked at the orphans and stroked at his chin, but smiled at the ch two children, each one a fair twin. He took them away to live in the Vale in the land of Quill, the place of our tale. So this is Robin and her brother, all cozy. Then they slept safe, warm and dry under the watchful stars in the sky. This looks so welcoming, doesn't it? Don't let this fool you, okay? Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Okay, okay, okay. I'm up, I'm up. All right, so we are back in the land of Quill, and this is Robin. She is a slow walker. Is she a slow walker, or are we just slow walking because we're slow walking? Did I hit caps lock? No, we are slow walking. There's our brother. So I really like that um, the hair color changes, and even the skin color matches the twin. Um, yeah, it's the little things, guys. Come talk to me, highlight me with the cursor, and click or hold left mouse button and choose the talk option. All right, so let's talk. 
All right, so the question mark basically tells us a little bit about what we know about our brother. Of course, we're going to know more about him than anybody else in the land of Quill. So we know that he's 12 like we are. We have the same birthday, 14th of summer. We do love each other, but it looks like right here that there might be a little bit of animosity. I don't know, because it's not a full heart. Uh, we know that he likes candy hair, apple pie, honey. He hates blueberry jam, blueberry, and blueberry pie. So anything blueberry, I would assume. Um, he's intelligent, tough, and brave. So that's cool to know. All right, so let's talk to him. Come on, Lazy Bones. Our new dad has been kind to us, and we should be earning our keep. Not having to sleep. Here's your task list. Proceed to view it. Okay. So, task list. Love this. Oh, okay, there's some changes here. That's cool. So, our tasks. Meet the father, unlock map of Willowdown Farm, and feed the pig. So, we've got these things to do. These things. These three things to do. Um, and this is the first day of summer year one. All right. So, quick, quick quick thing you guys this is still in alpha so there are lots of things that haven't been added to the game yet and there are areas that uh, we won't be able to access because it's still in development and just because of the progression of the game in general so um you will see that coming up and again i haven't played this game in months so and there are a lot of things that i did not see um and things that i hadn't uh, really gotten used to so this will be kind of like playing a brand new game all right i do know some things that are going to happen but um we're definitely going to try to make different choices and um do better than we did last time all right so we can pin one of our quests we're gonna go ahead and pin um unpin me feed the pig and pen meet the father all right so let's head out oh um father wants you to feed the pigs and apples should do Shake one down from a tree with left mouse button and collect it with the left mouse button. All right. So brother is just giving us all kinds, all kinds of instructions. Um, throw something by right mouse button or choose feed from the interaction menu. Click or hold left mouse button and select the feed option. Okay. You won't earn any pocket money if you don't do as you're told. So get a move on. He is kind of bossy. Off you go then. Hold shift to run, so chop chop. You can toggle always run in the options menu. Time seems to fly by when you're having fun. I wish today's were longer, but don't we all? Yes, 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 we do. Oh, does he have something else for us? It was nice of Father to leave little signs around to help us. You should try reading them by interacting or using left trigger, left control. I know you can read. I feel like he is being snarky here. I really do. Um, I can see the love-hate relationship. But we're going to go ahead and turn on the always run. So I'm not really sure where we do that at. Is it options? Um, so this is going to just give you guys... Um, oh, a pixel font. Oh, I can okay, like it. Um, I don't see the always run Ooh. okay oh look we can hide the UI so I can take pictures and stuff like that very cool um, yeah I don't see the always run log on stick stats yeah I don't know all right so let's let's head out so shift to run yeah I, I need run <laughs> there it is um, ooh. reset defaults. Is this it? Speed change left shift by shift. Shift, shift, shift. Um, yeah, y'all, I don't see it. Controls, let's look here again. Um, change page. Nope, change page. Okay. Options. Let's try that again. There it is, default to run. Completely missed it. If it had been a snake, it would have bit me. All right, so let's do some exploring really quick, see if there was any changes to the uh, map uh, while we were gone. Oh, okay, I don't remember this. Do I? Can I be over here? <laughs> yes, I can. Uh, what is this? Creator's note number 13. Most NPCs can be married no matter what gender. 
The only exceptions will be those who are goddess blessed like masters. Okay, I think we read that before. Um, masters would be, ooh, um, this is a keystone, I think. Masters would be like somebody who can who trains you to do a specific skill, um, like blacksmith and things like that. There's a note over here. Can I get? Can I get over? Okay, it's right here. Let's see. Proverb: Pond lurker gives a tiny burst to stamina, but it's the worst. Pond lurker gives a tiny burst to stamina, but it's the worst. Okay. Okay, so there is the fishing in the game. For those of you who have not played this game before, seen anything about this game, I do have a, a review of the game and um, my final thoughts on the, the first few hours of my playthrough on the game. So, The Right Angle by Rod Puller. And you will see, like, these little poems around the, the, the world of Quill. And the humor in this game is exceptional. It's funny. It's great. I love it. Fishing is a science, except science does not exist anymore. So fishing is less like science at all then. Just cast your rod and try to hit the shadows with your hook. If you miss, a little rippling action might persuade one to come in nibbling. But don't ripple when one is near or you will scare them away. Some advanced fishermen know a few tricks that can make you a wizard with a rod, except wizards do not exist, and I simply made that word up as it sounded magical. And lastly, do not forget to adhere to the Proverbs. Some fish like rain, some moonlight, some summer, some even like the loot music. Hope these tips were helpful. I don't like fishing myself. I just like writing tips, books about fishing, uh, tips, writing tips, books about fishing. Other books by this author include Carpe Diem, Breaking the Goldfish Code, The Doctor Who Fishes with Ford by Patrick Troughton, Fat Hookers, and Types of Lore, Sharks, Just What Are They and What Is the Sea, Five star fish, quality or quantity? Cute. All right. All right, so I'm just going to pick this up. Now, I did find out when you pick up a dandelion, your clock appears. So, see, dandelion, tell time. Awesome. I did, you guys, it was like weeks before, in the last time I played the game that I found that out. So, let's talk to this guy. I think we know anything about him yet but let's just see no we're neutral all right so twig hello did you get my letter nobody ever comes to here to my old nook but then again i don't invite many names twig because i used to look like a stick we can be the best of friends if you catch me some lunch use that old rod there just pull that right mouse button and name with the mouse cursor catch me a nice fishy and i will teach you a trick all right, so we've already gotten distracted, highly and thoroughly distracted. We do have a rod, so I'm going to go ahead and use my two button on my mouse and equip that. And, oh, there's a proverb here. So proverbs are like little hints and things around the game. So give a pig a gassy apple slingshot next for pork, no hassle. Yeah, that was an ugly end. So we're going to go ahead and uh, try to fish up a fish was it left it was right it was right so how do we like ripple y'all remember oh it says over here q i can read is he coming come here what's with the oh there's a proverb right there but we can't get to it so i think this means that we've got his attention the little exclamation mark maybe He's coming straight for us. Yeah? It looks like it. Come on. Come on, fishy. Come on. Come on, fishy. You get him? Nope. Okay. Is, are we going to get him? Because I'm terrible at fishing. It, nobody wants us. Nobody wants us. Can we can we cast way out here? Okay, we can cast pretty far. I, I <laughs> you would think that I've never played this game before, but I'm like really, really, really bad at fishing. Okay, let's just mm, do this. Okay, maybe one yellow bite. Come on, bite. Lunch time. Nobody wants anything we've got for them. No one. All right. You know what? We're going to try. 
We're gonna get this done. Yes, we got a fish. A silver scale, shimmering, shimmers like the shimmery things. You know what, I'm wondering, can we use our fishing rod to get this? Because we can't go over here. I'm just curious. Just, just curious. Nope, okay, I was just, I was just curious. All right, so let's go ahead and give him a fish twig. Oh, what is this? Okay, nothing, nothing. All right, let's talk to twig. Um, uh, we, okay, pond lurker. Oh, he wants a pond lurker. Wait a minute, does it have to be a pond lurker? Okay, let's just gift him. I need the following if you want. Oh, so it does have to be a pond lurker. What did we learn about pond lurkers? Um, was it here? Okay, so, um, Proverbs, here it is. Uh, lore, nonsense, useful, so useful. What is this? Um, I thought we found out something about pond lurkers. Proverbs, was it this? No, these are all fruit and veg. Here it is, fish. Um... I could have sworn we opened up one about pond lurkers. Did we not? Y'all, this is terrible. Okay, you know what? We'll just, we'll come back. We'll figure that out. Oh, wait, was this? No, that was a book. What in the world? Is it this? Okay, you know what? We'll get back to Twig uh, later. Twig, we'll find you a lurker, a pond lurker. Okay, we will find one. I wonder if the one with the exclamation point was what we needed. That makes me think, because I, I don't know. I thought maybe it was because we had his attention. Now I'm wondering if that was the fish that we needed. Um, but we do need to gather an apple. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. Just throw them at them. Okay, so we're just going to collect. What is this? What is the... What's it? Just what is it? By Amos E. Wall. Some fake creatures go against the grain of secrecy and sometimes show themselves in times of need. The brownie has been known to sometimes make itself known, as do the gillywiddle, the thatterway, and the nardy fnardner, fnardy nardner, which I bet you struggle to say yes. However, the most common of these little creatures is the what's it? Is it? What is it? When a person is new to an area, then they may say, see these sparkling little entities fluttering around points of interest. If something is of use, then the what is it will draw to... I get it. Like, okay, I already know it means what is it, but like that, like, never mind. You know what it's saying, right? The what is it will, however, not go away unless the object has been interacted with. It is as though the creature is insisting that it has your full attention one satisfied the what is it will fly away happy well as happy as a floating blinking glowy flappy eye can be oh it's an eye okay it's getting late there's a what is it right there that's an eye okay what is what is it letter from twig we already went to go see twig so this is a new update for the ui there's like 13 letters in here. So we've got more player customization, new proverbs set up, higher star ratings, global indicators, UI improvements, auctions, races, markets, da 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 da. This is all stuff that was upgraded in June. So we've got like a bunch of stuff. Um, new archive. So this is all that stuff. What is this? Letter from Twig. Can we open it? Oh, I love it. Dear pal, my name is Twig, and I'm inviting you for a visit because you look good fun. I live in the north nook of your farm just across the river. My hut is right at the top of the nook. You cannot miss it. I'm the best fisherman, and so can teach you some skills. It will be great fun. Looking forward to see you soon. Your new pal, Twig. So we just, we went to go see Twig because I'm nosy. Um, we had something to do. We are so late. What is this? Okay. All right, that's new. Um, we had to meet the father, feed the pig. So we need to feed the pig. And we need to meet father. So let's go ahead and feed the pig an apple. 
We did it. We did it. We did it. Did it. Did it. Okay. Um, and let's go meet Faza. Faring well. Oh, what's this? A lantern. Sweet. Faza, introduce ourselves. Cough. <laughs> Good to have you around. Must be much better out in the open air than spending all that time in a big sweaty shoe. I won't lie, my health hasn't been great, and so I need the help, and I will reward you for every task. Have a look around the farm and gather up any tools you may need, okay? Um, I will leave your task money beside your bed for when you wake up every morning, and I will add the daily tasks to your list, so don't forget to check. So let's ask him how he is. Can you do me a favor? Uh, sure. I need some items. One strawberry. Okay, we'll accept. Hurry along then. Okay, so that's changed. Um, let's check this out. This is... What is this? Strawberry jam. What musical fruit do? They jam. Oh my gosh. Makes you feel weller. Blueberry. Okay. So we had some things in the, on the stove. What is this? Nothing in here. Oh, we can store this, right? Cool. So, we'll, I mean, we don't need to store that. But we can store that fish. Awesome. All right. So let's finish talking to Afaja because he looks like he has something else to say. Might be worth making a map to find your way around. They say map stones are great for working out where you are. There are a couple of stones on the farm. Try finding them. Gotta go. Get on with the milking. Talk to me again if you need any help or advice. All right. So it is kind of late. We did spend some time looking around a little bit. We should have made a beeline for Faja, but we didn't. So, you know, here it is. It's nighttime. Um, so, yeah, we're going to go ahead and end the episode here. It's great to get back into the land of Quill. If you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. It'll be greatly appreciated. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Join the family. Come hang out with us. We have good times over here. And um, we'll be playing more of Kinseed uh, in the very near future. So until next time, guys, I will talk to you later. Ciao.